Okay everybody, welcome back. Today I have something so special for you. I have a request. One of my subscribers wanted me to do this, so I'm doing this for you, man. And hopefully some other people can have a good time using this as well. Uh, it took some while for me to learn this program, so I will save you guys, guys some hours by doing this. So what are we doing today? We are doing the logo on top of your YouTube channel. The art. Okay, so what do you need? You need to go in to archive here and you have to press new. Then you take an empty file and you put in 2560. That's the length of the, the banner. And that covers all the banners uh, for phone, tablet and uh, internet. So for the TV you will have to have the whole shit but yeah so it's 423 high uh, across so that's what we want to do as you can see here is the same the same length and height okay so how do we do this well we are in expert mode right now as you can see we have two layers already as I created a new one and what we need to do is create a new empty file like I said with these with these uh, numbers here and you press OK and you get this squared box so be sure be sure to to click in uh, transparent down here so you get this uh, chessboard looking background or else we can't do this so what do we do next we need to find a background so I've already looked up some sites here. I'm going to save this. Just going to save it to my my desktop. There we go. And what else do we need? We need some pictures. So just go on Google and search for any PNG. And uh, at this time we are YouTube related as you can see it got the same chess panels there in the background so we save that on the desktop and maybe some uh, cool item like uh, let's take a, a red Ferrari Ferraris are cool right and just put PNG behind and make sure that you got this uh, chess pattern in the background so we take that one and we save image as on the desktop just like we did before and maybe a, a blood cell those are red too right so there we go well, there we go another blood cell make sure it's a PNG chess background that is not so I'm not taking it this isn't a very good image this isn't either there we got some chess so we got some red, red stuff here to match the background and also we will need a nice the font that means a nice text to go with your uh, to go with your uh, art let's call it art so you just press download and the WinRAR should pop up if you have haven't got win win or you can just download it for free at www.google.com just search for win or or whatever and press extract to and then I've made um, a special map for it so I can find it later just go into that I've named it the font then we need to save it there okay so Sega TTF looks kind of cool so let's start with that so now we have to pop up the map we saved it in uh, let's see here desktop no desktop and YouTube there and the font and it was Sega so S Sega there we go and then just press 
right click and press install and this will pop up and you just press accept so now it's installed you should have it in your Photoshop okay so what's next we put we pick the 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 photo container photo folder down here in the left corner you can see my mouse hovering about I press that as you can see I've already made those two for you to show we will not save those don't don't mind this you don't need to know that so let's click up this again we have our images that we saved from Google earlier we have the background we just drag it over here take the folder get the logo YouTube logo and we get got the red Ferrari we just drag it in there and we got the blood cells we drag them in there too so as you can see every image I'm now going to use is right here so what we do now is we just pull it to to the saved image that we got and we stretch it like this like so a little bit further maybe put it up a bit so we get it like this maybe something like that and then we press the green and you can still move it around in the size you think so the gold matches the corner there looks kinda good looks pretty awesome actually and then you press the, the photo container down here in the left corner left corner again and you just drag the logos to the screen and place them wherever you want now think about where your uh, YouTube picture is it should be somewhere around here so don't put any images uh, in this corner that you know is going to block the block the the image of your channel so we're gonna put that there something like that and we just go to the photo container there I don't know what it's called and we bring up the Ferrari in the middle as, as it is at the main topic and you just press accept there as you can see and oh come on let me press that we need to do the blood cells since there are pretty many blood cells we can just put it in the background here it doesn't matter because if my picture ends up there as you can see here the picture ends here so it's a straight line so what I usually do is I'm cheating a little bit you see now that disappeared so you have to be like uh, real, real focused like not focused but you have to be a little a little bit of a uh, inventor you have to have some pretty good ideas you have to use your imagination a lot as you can see I'm blocking it too so maybe this channel is about Ferraris maybe your name over here uh, if you want to add a uh, Facebook you just go uh, images and you search for Facebook logo and you don't forget your PNG if you want the, the chess background let's take uh, this one is the one I use on my current site so I think the cracked uh, surface uh, looked good looks good let me save it to desktop and I could just go on all day it's really easy to use it's simple it's fun uh, just if you have a little uh, bit of imagination and stuff you can just do whatever you, you want to really and yeah just drag it over here and now it ended up in the background here so what I do is I found find what's the the file called it's called icon texto okay icon texto so we press the banner again icon texto and we pull it to the top blop there it is 
So I just took the layer and put it on top. You can always put layers on top of each other. And you can continue here with a Twitch logo or a Twitter logo or whatever. So if you want to put the text underneath like uh, facebook.com HTTP, you can do that. We're not going to do that today because it's really easy. And yeah, we picked up the font earlier. So mm, there we go. I think that looks kind of good. So let's say this guy's channel is uh, Bob Bob's Ferraris. Uh, this channel is called. Okay, so we go in here on the fonts. Press the text here. We go in on the fonts. We choose a uh, font, and we go down to S. We downloaded something called. Sega, right? I don't know if you know guys know what Sega is, but it's a game console from the 90s, I believe. I was born in 85, so it's a little bit of my upbringing. Right, there we go. Sega logo front. And then we just collect a uh, choose uh, not hello, that's Swedish. Then we just choose a box size there we go. Choose a color. I think we go with maybe since we got a lot of red, we can use white. And we choose a size. We can see there that the size is quite small. So let's put 72. If it's too small, we can always change it afterwards. So let's Bob's. Okay, that's kind of big actually. All right. So let's do it like this we do it in 30 pt and we type bobs ferraris then we just press the thingy and we put it in front of the ferrari maybe or if you want it somewhere else or if you want the text on the entire window you can just match it up then you right click the text and you push uh, edit uh, layer style I think it's called in English and you can add some shadow you can uh, add the size uh, distance capacity how much it, you want it to be shown as you can see here you can make it pretty pretty cool make it pop a little bit and then we can uh, make it phrase you see how it popped up then we can add a line we can add a black line to it and we can add uh, yeah let's go with black and we can just choose the size here of the lines so the fact that they are you can see there it turned out actually kinda cool Maybe we can put this up here. Now, aware, be aware of the picture here in the corner. So, yeah, you can just use your imagination. So, this is how you did a YouTube banner using just a couple of home pages and Photoshop Elements 14. So, thank you for watching. And if you got any questions or want me to do any any videos uh, related to this one or uh, icon or whatever then just let me know in the comment section I'll be more than glad to help you out so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye